Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery. And they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Monarch by Onyx on the dual boiler and the Barazza Sete 270. Now we've added scales to this workflow to show another way to achieve consistency. If your grinder measures by weight, have it set to 18 grams for a double shot and place the single wall double shot basket in the portafilter, then we're at the same starting point. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. I'm very excited to show you this dial-in workflow using scales. I have a grind by weight scale here. There's a scale inside. And I also have an external scale here, just in case you don't have that unit. If you don't have any scales at all, it's okay. These two tools will also get you very close to that 18 gram mark. Let's get started. In my hopper, I have Monarch by Onyx. This coffee always lends us that delicious chocolatey flavor with a hint of berry. It's so yummy. My grinder is currently set to give us 18 grams and my grind setting is 9C. If your setting is different or you have a different grinder altogether, don't worry, we're using scales. We're gonna get there together and I'll show you how to make adjustments a little bit later. Remove the portafilter and dry and wipe it out. I like to start with a super clean portafilter. All right, set it on the scale. Press the tear button to clear out the weight of the portafilter. We only wanna weigh what's going into the basket. We're heading over to the grinder, but we'll make a quick pit stop to purge the brew group for two short seconds to refresh the system. Insert the portafilter into the grinder forks and press the play button. My brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee, 25 to 30 seconds of brew time, and that will yield just under two ounces of espresso in the cup. It does look like there's a lot of coffee, but it is 18 grams and I'll prove it. Head back to the scale carefully. That's it, 18 grams, that's just what we wanted. All right, settle the bed as though you would a cake pan. Just move that little mountain into a little mound. The tamper's gonna do the rest for you. Hold the tamper like a doorknob. Align your wrist and elbow in a straight line as best you can with your thumbs facing each other and press into the bed until the bed stops moving or pushes back at you. That looks really good. Give it one more polished tamp. There's no pressure needed on this last one, just a little twist. We're gonna check our dose. Again, if you don't have scales, I got another way to help you out. Looking at this tamper, there's a little metal line. That tamper's metal line should rest just beneath the rim of your basket. If you have too little, add a little more coffee and re-tamp. If you think you have too much or you're just not quite sure, grab the razor tool, head over to your knock box and shave it across the surface of the bed. If you have the right dose, it should just barely touch it and no coffee should come off. Using any of these or these two tools should get you really close to 18 grams. Now wipe off the edge of the basket to free it of any coffee grounds, insert it into the brew group press the double cup button. Grab your favorite cup, we're almost there. You shouldn't see the first drop of espresso until around the seven to nine second mark. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. There's the shot I was looking for. Perfect. 30 seconds, just under two ounces. I can smell that little berry high note. Oh, it's just such a nice layer of sweetness. Okay, so we got the milk chocolate. We have that berry note on the top. This would pair so well with milk. I cannot wait to make this little baby. Mm. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. 
If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee.